Hi, and welcome to Danny After Dark. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a notification or a new episode. Tonight, I'll be featuring the case of Charles Rathbun. This was a suggestion by friend of the show, Rock and Vita, 1874. Thank you, Rock and Vita, for the recommendation. Now, let's go ahead and find out more. Let's go ahead and dive on in. Charles Rathbun was born in 1957. Growing up, he had a liking for photography, and he wanted to do that for a profession. So flash forward to November 16th, 1995. Charles was now 38 years old and was on assignment for Auto Week magazine as a photographer. He contacted a woman named Linda Sobeck. She was 27 years old. He called her from a payphone and asked her if she would pose for an upcoming issue of Auto Week. Linda had given Charles her business card about a month earlier at an automotive show that they both attended in Las Vegas. Linda was a former Los Angeles Raiders cheerleader and now was a model. She had some success posing in magazines such as Grapevine and she did some nude photo shoots. So Linda left her Hermosa Beach home and drove to a remote mountain region outside of Los Angeles to meet Charles for that photo shoot. She even left a message on her home answering machine saying she was unavailable because she had taken a last minute modeling job. She didn't tell anybody the nature of the assignment or who the photographer was. This was an important photo shoot to Linda because it had the potential to boost her career. Now, Linda never returned home from the photo shoot. Her friends and family were first concerned, then they became worried as more time passed. This was completely out of character for Linda. So they contacted the police. November 24th, 1995, Charles was drunk and called a friend and confessed that he, quote, had something to do, end quote, with Linda Sobeck's disappearance. Over the phone, he stated he had a gun and was planning to kill himself. The friend he called was a female reserve deputy with the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. She rushed to his house to stop him from harming himself. It took her some time to get Charles to leave his house while she and another friend stood in the driveway. And when he did, he accidentally fired his weapon. The shot ricocheted off the asphalt and injured his friend. Well, now the police came and when they arrived, Charles repeated his confession and was taken in for questioning. Charles told them he accidentally killed Linda with a sports utility truck while demonstrating for her how to drive the vehicle during the photo session that they had in the mountains. He then stated that he hid Linda's body in a state of panic. Later that day, Charles led investigators to a location in the Los Angeles National Forest where he had buried Linda's body. Police, however, failed to advise him his rights before he was interrogated and confessed. Therefore, his drunken confession, during which he vomited on himself, was eventually completely tossed out by a judge. Linda's body was brought in for an autopsy. The chief coroner's spokesperson told reporters that Linda's injuries were inconsistent with Charles' claim. So Charles was now charged with murder. He was then placed on suicide watch after he slit his wrists. December 1995, it was determined that Linda had been legally drunk and was engaging in sexual intercourse at the time of her death. The toxicological examination revealed that Linda had a 0.13% blood alcohol reading at the time of the autopsy. The coroner's office released a statement saying Linda had died of asphyxiation as a result of neck and shoulder compression. Simply speaking, she was strangled to death. Charles Rathbun now stood trial for the murder of Linda Sobeck. Charles maintained that he accidentally asphyxiated Linda during an argument while she was drunk after she tried to entice Charles to have sex with her. Although Linda barely drank, Charles admitted that he bet her $60 that she could not chug the remnants of a bottle of tequila. So she did. 
the defense displayed sexually oriented photographs of Linda that were taken inside the SVV, trying to show that sex between Linda and Charles was clearly consensual. However, the jurors didn't find the photographs credible and wondered if the photographs that they were showing at trial were actually fake. Charles said that Linda was a stuck up bitch and a difficult model to work with. The prosecution would focus on the brutality of Linda's death. They showed forensic evidence that Linda had been anally raped with a handgun at some point prior to the sex strangling. In fact, Linda was bound at the ankles by Charles during the assault. She struggled to free herself so much that her ankles were rubbed almost raw. December 16th, 1996, the jury found Charles guilty of first degree murder and rape. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Now, quote, the amount of excruciating pain Linda Sobeck must have suffered defies comprehension, end quote. Prosecutor Stephen Kay told the court, quote, the thing that stands out most for me is the defendant's complete lack of remorse at what he did, end quote. That is the case of Charles Rathbun. Thank you for sticking around for another episode of Danny After Dark. And thank you to Rock and Veda 1874 for the case suggestion. Do you have any questions or comments on this case? Leave it down below. Let's be interactive. Do you have a suggestion for a case that you'd like me to cover? Well, leave it down below. You may see it featured in an upcoming episode. Until next time, remember, we don't live in darkness. Darkness lives in us.